Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're all having a fantastic start to your week. And just last week, the NBA season concluded with the Denver Nuggets hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy, being crowned as NBA champions. And uh, something that a lot of people may not realize is that the G League affiliate of those Denver Nuggets actually resides right here in West Michigan. It is the Grand Rapids Gold. And joining us today to talk a little bit more about the NBA season, also a very exciting announcement from the gold is Steve Jabara. He is the owner and president of the Grand Rapids Gold. Steve, thank you so much for coming back on the live desk. Of course. Good to see you, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we have to start off by talking about the Nuggets. Uh, obviously had a great season. A lot of gold players, you know, spent time with the Nuggets, came back down, spread what they learned from the team back to the gold. You know, what did it mean to you to be a part of the Nuggets organization, in a sense, and really watching them uh, hold the first title in franchise history? Yeah, it was a it was a really special week last week. Um, getting to be in Denver, going back and forth from Denver to Miami with the team, um, and you nailed it. Like seeing some of our guys uh, that played in Grand Rapids that got called up to Denver um, is a pretty cool experience to see it all come circle. And then you know being at Game Five in Denver when they they take it and you know high fiving some of our guys, getting in the locker room, getting champagne showers and everything like that. I mean, uh, it was an experience that I. I didn't anticipate coming, um, but it, it was it was really really special, and and uh, you know it gives us a lot to look forward to uh, continuing this partnership with Denver. Mm -hmm. Right now, and some of those players I mentioned, Colin Gillespie, Jack White, they spent time really with both sides, you know. And you mentioned how awesome it was getting to see them be a part of that championship. Uh, what does it mean, you know, kind of giving them another opportunity where? You know, they may not get a whole lot of playing time with the Nuggets as they are the NBA champions. They've got a lot of great players ahead of them, but they're getting that experience in the gold and then being able to, you know, bring it to uh, the Nuggets in spurts and then also take what they learned and bring it back to the gold. Yeah, it's cool. It's 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 um it's been interesting to work with Denver, right? So the distance gets a little further between the clubs. They like that. They like the model where they're going to send guys to Grand Rapids and they you know they can't come back in two days. They can't come back you know when the team goes to New York or whatever. So they're going to come here. They're going to develop. Um, they're going to get better and, uh, and you know eventually they go back and keep the culture and everything. But um, these long term assignments that we saw this year uh, not only grew the relationship with me and the players, um, but hopefully you know the city and the players. And so it's it's a really interesting model. Um, and I don't think a lot of people know, but you know almost come Thanksgiving, NBA teams don't really practice anymore moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with all the focus now on on time and kind of wear and tear on guys' bodies, you know. It, they're, they're not getting up and down a lot after kind of Thanksgiving. Sure, they have practice. They do shoot around. They walk through the offense and stuff like that. But as far as really banging into each other and getting up and down, um, they don't do it a ton. So that's where we come in as a really you know useful tool for for the Denver Nuggets, for these guys that you know are kind of towards the end of the bench, um, some of the young guys that need more experience, need to get more you know, live game shots. Um, and so to watch that play out this year and then to see some of our guys – you know, put minutes up in the playoffs and, and at the end of the season, um, you know, significant minutes um, really helps prove out that model. And so that was, you know, it was pretty special for us. Right, absolutely. And, you know, I've been to a couple games uh, at Van Andel to watch the gold play. You know, they are a feisty team. They obviously uh, benefit from having sort of that partnership with the Nuggets, as a lot of G League teams do. Um, but now we can switch a little bit to the gold, Steve. Um, obviously, you know, we want to celebrate the Nuggets and winning their first finals, but we kind of already are getting excited for the upcoming season that will be back here in Grand Rapids. How excited are you for basketball to come back to Van Andel Arena next season? Very. I, I, I haven't been this excited about a, a, the next season, um, I think, since since the team started. Right. Um, we are in a really, really good spot with the building. We're in a really good spot with my staff here. Like we talked about, um, you know, how awesome it is to, to, to be affiliated with the NBA champions. Um, and they're getting better at using the club. So, I mean, everything's coming together for a really incredible season this year. And even on the NBA side, you know, we talked a little bit off the air, but uh, G League rosters are going to be coming more and more and more loaded with with NBA players. Um, in the new collective bargaining agreement, there's additional, there used to be two two-way positions. Now there's three two-way positions, which are just additional roster spots for the NBA that are required to be sent down. Mm -hmm. um, these Exhibit 10, these training camp um, uh, roster spots for 
uh, the NBA club. Um, they bolstered those pay up, the pay for those up quite a bit. And so between those, you know, we look at the Denver Nuggets now who have two round two uh, picks this year, which, you know, with their loaded um, roster, you know, those guys are going to be sent down. So I think we're in a really, really good spot. Um, and then just, you know, the news at Van Andel, like last year, we, we scrapped together to get into that building and, and, and there weren't a lot of good dates left for us to take, but now we're getting more of a fair shake. So, you know, we, we announced our Saturdays, uh, some of our preferred dates. And I think when the rest of the schedule comes out, it'll be, it'll be pretty good as well. So we had a lot of things we had to work on last year. Um, but I think as we got towards the end of the year, we started putting on a really good show on the floor, off the floor. Um, and so moving forward, I mean, I, I couldn't be more excited. Right, absolutely. And you mentioned, you know, those first four dates that the Gold have announced that uh, home games will be played at Van Andel Arena. Those dates, of course, are November 18th, January 5th, March 9th, and March 30th. Those are all on weekends, as you said. Uh, last season might have been a little bit difficult for families to maybe come on out, you know, during the week. But these first four dates that you guys have announced are all on the weekends. What does it mean to be able to put on great G League basketball at Van Andel Arena on the weekends? Yeah, it's, it's huge, right? We didn't have a Saturday last year. And so, you know, we, we towards the end of the year started getting really good crowds coming out, people really starting to figure out what the G League's all about and how good the basketball is. And so, you know, those it's a little bit tougher lift during the week to convince people to come out. So it'll be really fun to see what happens on a Saturday when people are free and they can come downtown and relax and uh, check out some games. So it should be a little easier lift for us to to continue getting what we, you know, call our first day with Grand Rapids, right? We just want people to come out because we, we know we'll, we'll get you after you come out once. Right. No, absolutely. And I know that a lot of people who are basketball fans are already excited to kind of head on down to Van Andel, check out the gold this season. But Steve, you know, for those people that may be on the fence, maybe don't know if they're going to have time or really the resources to maybe head on out, kind of explain and make your final pitch out to people why they should, you know, consider the gold as an entertainment uh, place for them to check out throughout the basketball season. Sure. Yeah. No, look, it, it's really good basketball. You know, our ticket prices, um, you know, start at, at 12 bucks. So we, we try and make it as affordable as you can. Um, we, we, we put on a really good show in there and it's just the basketball is so good. I think it was 56% of the NBA this year finished with G League experience. I think it was 16 guys on the finals roster had played down. So this thing is becoming this juggernaut of development for the NBA. And it's really cool to get to see these guys up close and personal and do autographs and all that good stuff in Grand Rapids and then kind of follow their journey as they they go into the NBA. So, you know, encourage everybody to come out, give it a shot. Um, I think it's a it's a really, really good product and we have a lot of fun. Right. Absolutely. Well, Steve, we want to thank you so much for stopping by. We'll let you get back to work. We know you're a busy man, obviously, with <laughs> everything going on. But I do want to remind everybody watching that if you are interested in checking out those first four dates or want to learn a little bit more about the gold and get set for the upcoming season, you can find everything you need right now over on our website, woodtv.com. If you're watching us on Facebook, just head on down to the comment section or the description box. You'll find a link there. Steve, once again, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, Phil.